All right, welcome 360 viewers. This is the very first time, so you'll get a little bit interest or interesting insight. All right, if I can get my head around all of this, it just makes my noodle. All right, for our normal two-dimensional people, so here's the problem I ran into is, is that this uh, lower arm, I could see that it goes in there to that pin, but I couldn't figure out how to get that pin back out. And then I looked around and I crawled under there, and guess what I found? <laughs> Can't believe this is so crazy this to get my head around this 360 thing but uh well here you are under here with me so here here's the d here's what happened so this pin it was loose i could feel it feel that wiggling around in there and i knew that the that three-point arm had to go on there and then i saw a bolt under here that didn't have any coating or paint on it and i thought oh i'll bet that that is holding that all in there right that there's a little it's a little drilled out there and and then that's holding that pin and so i took it out i took it loose and lo and behold oh, it's almost there pretty clever it, it sure enough did i'll show you here how that works so and then there's this i knew there was see i can see that spacer in there oh, i just had a big glob of mud fall in my mouth that's that's the life of a mechanic there, isn't it? Can I get that out of there and show you guys? Or is it... No, that's just... That's just in there. Maybe the 360 guys can see it. Anyway, that's drilled out in the end there. That hole. So what we'll do is you'll back this out here. Now, we can put our arm in. Whoops. Is that my good side? Okay. So, so for you 360 guys, I think I'm going to try to... Or what seems like I'm going to do is going to try to incorporate it more into behind the scenes type of things. So when there are really interesting things, the spacer goes on the inside. So when there's really interesting things, um, like saw milling or, or whatever that might be, uh, that we can incorporate those in. Uh, you can get more information. You know, you can get in there, and look around, check it all out, see, kind of see how the mechanisms working and all of that stuff. So. How about that man we're breaking breaking new ground here so my 360 guys are going to be able to see have a better vantage i think here all right so we got to put that pin through that time joint oh one thing i almost messed up so see oh there we go you guys can see that now there right see the hole that's where that bolt goes well, be sure that that is straight. That's down. That's got to be down. All right, I'm willing to bet that this is the first ever. You know, it's hard to get the to be a truly be a groundbreaker and get the first ever anything, right? But I'm sure, pretty sure that this is the first ever 360 view of underneath a Yanmar tractor. You know those things where it's just a little bit too tight for finger, not quite tight enough for wrench? And those deals. That's a, if I wiggle that around as our Minnesotan friends have been around. A, you ever been around people from the UP? Well, this is kind of clever here. Okay, so the, there's a, uh, the pin has got a line cut in it so I can tell if I'm oriented correctly. Um, people from the UP, the uh, up, upper Peninsula. I've never been up there. I've been northern Minnesota, but not that far north. Anyway, they have a really, I think they have a great accent. The first fire, wildland fire I was on, it was a, uh, the fire boss was, he was, he was a youper. That's what they call them. They call them youpers if they're from up there. And uh, so he came out there and he had the greatest, the best accent. He's put his hand in his pockets and they you know they're really nice and hardworking, modest people. He said, well then, we're just going to go ahead and go on up there and put out that fire, eh? <laughs> and the whole room just erupted into laughter. Because, you know, you don't usually see guys like that in Western fires. And i never forget that. That was so funny. Okay, so I felt... Okay, good. I felt it uh, go into the groove. Uh, into its little, little home. And... Oh, get that nice and tight. 
and I can see I've been lying there and we're set let's hook up the rest of it we'll bring you up out to the back it's kind of new to me this all this stuff I just not a farm tractor not a lot of experience on farm tractors but learn it now a little washer on there to keep it from rubbing assuming there's that now there's only one thing left to do it's this piece here that hooks back into the pin so that keeps these from you know you've seen these things going all over the place I've seen that before and let's if you got if you want to back up to something and they're too tight you know then they run into stuff and so this you can set these look at this so it's got this deal here one of them their deals that's what I was thinking deal that's what they always say those Minnesotans yes one of them their deals one of them their deals so I think guys this is our last connection and then we can get on that ballast box put that pan in there like that now we got our cotter little cotter pin on there pretty slick system actually I love these. Nobody makes pliers like Snap-on. Especially these are special ones that the extra they give you extra power. They bite like I got those you know, cam deal in there. They I think I remember when I bought you, know, you always remember every Snap-on tool you buy because it just about kills you when you get the price. You, I think with Snap-on tools is you get this idea in your head like yeah, it's going to cost so much and you know you're prepared it's going to be expensive. And then they tell you that's four times that. <laughs> or double, or double what you, double what your worst nightmare was. Let's push that there. There we go. Okay, we got that there going. Now we can put this cotter in there. That's kind of an adjustable doohickey. I like to bring these up from the bottom. Some people say, "Well, if it falls out, you lose your keeper." Or you pinned and all that, but yeah, it's gonna you're gonna lose it anyway. But I'd rather do that than stand on my head trying to put it in and take it out all the time. All right, guys, let's fire it up and see see if it's gonna work for us. guys a bone too we'll take the other side here for you so I don't have any I don't, I don't have a dead box and wrenches for these great big old bolts so I'll whenever I have that I'll usually use a channel lock or a pipe wrench that's one of the, the big sizes this 14 inch is a good size pipe wrench will just about take care of anything you can take put at it okay so let's back it up and see uh, how it fits all right, so you 360 guys, you get to see inside the tractor. You can look all around here. So we'll we'll head on over there and uh, we'll see. We'll pick up this uh, ballast box. I think this is the first time I've ever uh, hooked up to a three-point hitch or anything that I that I recall. I don't think I've ever done it before. This is exciting. It's fun to do things you've never done before. Okay, so this is the lever here that drops the three-point. Just give you a quick, quick uh, work around. So these are the third function in the back for to get implements that require more hydraulics. Uh, I've got the. This is the controls all the front end. Uh, I've got side buttons here on the front and back that give me additional things. So you open and close the uh, the frostbite. Um, I can run the run the throttle up. There's a whole but this does a whole bunch of things. It makes it really simple. And of course we got my our shuttle forward reverse this is the best way for a tractor to be set up not the foot pedal all those all those things but a shuttle forward reverse all hydrostatic wonderful these are all the uh, climate control controls up here and we've got side windows and we've got air conditioning pressurized cab filtered air um, and what lots of vents if you look around here you see all of these vents all over the place um, and that's really good for keeping like when it was snowing and, and I would get out and get wet it would keep all the windows clear I never had a defrosting or fogging problem and also lots of uh, really handy storage 
here for tools. I use those all the time. Lunch and all that. We've got our transmission shifters down here, forward, first, second, third, four-wheel drive, our differential lock. We can click that with my heel, that'll lock the rear wheels. You can see all of that. Um, right here we've got our PTO, put that neutral for the rear power, and I think about covers it. So let's uh, drop this down.